All right, so we're gonna talk about how to move. We're gonna do it a couple different ways. We're gonna talk about having the gun at the ready and then having the gun stored. Cause you may have to move your FFP a couple inches forward or a couple feet forward or whatever, or to the right or to the left. So you gotta know how to move with the weapon in the ready and then how to move with it stored on your back, mm -hmm. okay? So we'll go, the hardest is with the weapon. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you got a lot of cover, right? And you got a lot, a lot of train between you and the threat, you're just gonna, you're gonna patrol like you would normally patrol, okay? And that's a simple walk. Gun at the ready and just walk through, but you don't wanna move erratically. You just, and when I say gun at the ready, just, Okay. Right there. Okay. Keeping your eyes forward and you're going to walk with a heel toe method. Just simple. Yep. Nice smooth movement. Don't try to move fast. Observing, looking at your left and right lateral limits and looking at the veg in front of you. Okay. Right. Pretty simple. That's how you patrol. That's a fast walk on a stock. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have I walked faster on a stock? Yeah, because I was on a time crunch, okay? But that's what you want to do, okay? Normally, even when you're, when you're patrolling in a, in a threat area, your head's on a swivel and you're just moving deliberately. Okay, now we've got not a whole lot of overhead and we know we're getting close. Now we're going to take, we're going to put the weapon up here underneath your arm, tuck it under. Go ahead and put your thumb around it. Grip that bitch, you're gonna tuck, and you're just gonna crouch through, heel toe method. Okay, as you're getting closer. Okay, pretty simple, okay? What you're trying to do is minimize your lateral, you're, you're essentially using dead space between you and your OP, and you're trying to minimize your lateral movement. You're trying to stay behind whatever feature it is. Okay, and you're just creeping up. Okay, so do that again. Okay, all right, go ahead and get on your knees. Okay, now you're gonna do a crawl. Okay, how do we do that with the weapon system? I have no idea. Okay, get on all fours. <laughs> all fours. If you have, so what you don't want to do is use your weapon system as a crutch. Okay. Okay, so you got to carry that in such a way that it doesn't. So you may have to do a three, uh, you know, a tripod type method. Mm -hmm. So tuck that under, that's the beauty of the bullpup is that you've got a long barrel and it's a smaller weapon, all the weights towards the back. So you can cinch it back in. And literally going to be, this is not going to be on my belly just yet. This not just yet. This is just a crawl. Okay. It's a high crawl. Crawl. You can see, keep going. I want you to get the full feel of this. Keep going. Keeping your eyes ahead, watching where you put your next foot, your next hand position everything, reading your terrain, making sure you're not bleeding out from the sides of your cover. Now think about doing that for a thousand yards. Okay, you don't wanna do it, right? Okay, now, actually I called that the high crawl. That's not the high crawl. Okay, now you're gonna get on your belly. Okay, how do we make this happen? Okay. Uh, so you're gonna drape this over your arm. Drape it. Right, and you're gonna grab right up here at the swivel. Okay. Trying not to drag my beautiful rifle. Okay, yep. And you're gonna crawl. The elbow. Right. Head up. You're gonna use your elbows okay. and your full arm to crawl. Go ahead and crawl for distance. Go ahead, start crawling. You can bring your knees up. There you go. After you go a certain amount of distance, you want to stop, look, listen, mm -hmm. see where you're at, get your bearing, make sure you're still moving on the right 
the right bearing or you're still using the cover in front of you. Okay, keep moving. I've seen, while I was teaching at the course, I've seen guys do an entire stock this way and they didn't need to do it. All right, keep going. How you feeling right now? Oh, pleasant. Okay. And it's, we got good weather right now, so it's not super <laughs> hot. Okay, now the low crawl, okay? You've got, you're essentially using, let's say a thicker version of this, a tumbleweed that's pretty thick, and you've got no lateral movement you can make. You've got just that for you. You dug yourself in a hole and you're trying to move up to this position, or maybe it's a really good bush. Okay. Now you got a low crawl, okay? That means your head's gonna be touching the ground or as close to the ground as you can, and you're gonna be reaching up with your arms and pulling and using your feet, the toes of your feet, with your heels down, squatting forward, right? So go ahead and drape, go ahead and Superman out, and drape the gun over your over your arm like you did before, okay? Now reach out with both hands. Let's see. It's like unstable here. Okay. Keep, the, keep the sling in your hand. But you can grab lower so you can reach out. And your, your left arm's gonna do most of the work. Now you're inching forward, you're just inching forward. Keep your head, turn your head sideways and inch forward. Okay, try to keep those heels down. Keep going. Keep going. Time eater, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So you don't want to ever have to be in this situation, but you may be in that situation. Okay, and that's exactly, that's about the pace you wanna go. That, I mean, you're sprinting right now, okay? You may have to move slower than that, okay? All right, so let's do the easier version. Go ahead and sling or backpack that, that weapon system. And you're gonna do the same moving techniques with it stowed. All right, so let's start with just the normal walk. You would probably either have an M4 or a pistol, depending on what is appropriate for the situation, okay? So it's a simple, just using your cover, right? All right, let's do the crouch. You're using your terrain, you got your veg fan up in front of you, and you're moving in, okay, pretty simple. All right, now let's go to the all fours, okay. Just because they're on all fours doesn't, this is where a lot of guys get rolled up because once they're on all fours, they try to move too fast this way. Go ahead. So it's here. You want to pay attention to your environment. And clearly the speed is going to be dictated by kind of what? The, the concealment yeah. cover of the terrain that you have, right? Right, you're getting closer, you're getting closer. Okay, all right, the high crawl. Okay, now you got a little bit more movement, your gun's slung up, and you can you can use your elbows. Yeah, keep going. I'll make some room. There you go. That's good movement right there. Okay, want to keep from your heels coming up. Okay, now we're doing low crawl. Head down, you're reaching up with your arms, and you're inching forward. Okay, a little bit further. Okay, that's it. Those are the, the different techniques that you're gonna utilize on a stock field, okay? Hopefully you don't ever have to use that, but you may find yourself in that situation. Damn it, I, can tell I don't that. have the that's time, <laughs> it's all I've got, you know, and you gotta do it, uh -huh. okay. 
All right, so here's the problem with crawling. Take a look at this. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you're leaving sign. This is why this is not really a a mission that you're doing. Yeah. It's a, a skill set that you're training. But things like this are not good. You've got a trail. Let's say you did this for 50 yards. Okay. If a patrol happens to walk by and they say, what the hell is that? Yeah. They're just going to follow it right up. So yeah. those are other considerations, you know, as you move through and as you do part of the, the, the trade craft, if you will, okay. field craft of, of a sniper is taking this kind of stuff into consideration.